And hey, hello there, RJB here from RJB TV. With Flash against Gensei. But it's not the real Flash, it is another Flash who is on this channel, also known as San Francisco. Now I've got some sad news. There was a game before this, which I casted, but I forgot to press record. Or I did press record, but I misclicked on recording and it didn't record. I also already casted this game. Yes, I cast this game already. But um, the game is so good that I I just want you to see it. So I'm casting it again, and this time I am recording. The game before this was about 20 minutes long, but I don't want to redo that one. I do not. So I'm just gonna give you this single game for today, okay? So the title screen might be a little bit misleading. So I apologize. Let's now introduce the players. Gensei here. Gensei, we all know Gensei. One of the best players in the world in 2v2, 3v3, and 1v1. And since recently, also a normal map player who gets coached by former professionals and he has beaten some professionals on the normal maps, which makes him pretty much a professional level player on the normal maps now. He has become really, really good. And Flash here, known as San Francisco, Kim Ki San, Korak, and Meppo, and Kill Boxoon. There's so many names this guy has that it's no point um, going into all of his names. Because there's just too many of them. I don't even know which one of his names is the main name that he uses. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea at all. I just know that he's very, very good. He's very, very good. So Marine there coming into the middle of the map and he's gonna meet Rope. We have a Gateway Gateway Cyber Core from Gensei. I was expecting Gateway Gateway Nexus. That is a lie, I was not expecting that. I was expecting exactly this because I've already seen the replay, but usually it's Gateway Gateway Nexus. Rope there coming into Flash's base, who's getting a command center very early on, on double barracks against double gateway production. That might be slightly troublesome for our friend Flash. Slightly troublesome proxy pylon on top there from Gensei. Interesting stuff. He's going to build a proxy gateway and dark templars, a proxy robo, one of the two. He's got two options, really, with that proxy pylon there. Zealous on the chase, Marine stays alive, turn around, nope, it gets taken out. I completely ruined it. I killed that Marine by saying it was completely fine, it was not. Zealous there, try he's got such good micro. He responds very quickly. Lost only that one, what is Gensei doing? Why are you attacking that gateway? You took a lot of damage you didn't have to take on those Zealous. So Gensei now in a tough spot, he needs, yeah, that's a robotics facility there on the top. He needs to do some damage, there's a bunker in the back. Manson are finished up, kills an SCV in the bottom. Is he gonna go for another barracks or for a factory? Gonna be a factory, yeah, factory on the way. Zealous on the bottom, looking for a way into the backside. He sees the factory. Does he know that there's a command center in the back? I don't think he does, but he's walking all the way around. Loses one Zelda, the other two are still alive. He's gonna try to sneak through the top corner. Oh, he's chasing them down so well. Yeah, they make their way in. Gonna try to kill that one SCV. It stays alive. It's It, it escapes. Zelda in the back gets taken down. Two more Zelda's in the bottom corner. They're ready to do the exact same of going in and trying to kill an SCV, but nope. Marines knew they were coming and they shut them down. Dragoons in the front. Shield on the way. Support bay finished up. Gensei. Gensei's gonna try to snipe the SCV to stop the factory, but nope, too late. SCV does go down, but the factory finishes up. Wasn't there on time. I can see what Gensei is trying to do. He's trying to set up the per- Oh, he's walking into the cannons. Oh no, he's gonna lose a lot of Marines. That's seven, six, eight. Nine Marines dead and gone to what is a pretty big mistake. This might mean that Gensei might just get 
might just have a big enough army to kill Flash's army. There's not a lot of marines. Only two barracks. He's building a bunker. Reaver almost finished up. S siege tank is on the way. Siege mode is on the way. He's getting marine range as well. Siege mode or uh, stim already finished up. Kill stops the cannon. That's big. That's big. He he's playing very aggressively. Despite having so little to defend. Reaver shuttle flying across the hill. I think Flash now knows that it's a proxy robo somewhere close by. Scarab does not explode. That is huge. The first Scarab not killing anything is really big. Bunker though, not loaded up, gets taken down, pushing forward. Flash pulling back, goes in for a snipe on the Reaver. Reaver gets picked up, kills two Marines. More Dragoons are coming in. The little kills one Dragoon, pulls back. He knows his limits very, very well. The micro on this play is really, really good. But specifically, the decision making is amazing from both players. I'm gonna try to kill the machine shop. Nope. Siege mode finished up just in time. Sieges up the tank, stops attacking the machine shop, goes for the tank. The Reaver goes down. Marines are absolutely beasting. Kills the tank on the side. Marines pushing back the Dragoons, trying to micro, but the Marine push with range is just too strong. And Flash has done it. The decision making right there was insane from both players. Gensei tried to stop Siege Mode, but then saw Siege Mode finished up, stopped attacking the machine shop, went for the tank, but went in a little bit too deep, which gave Flash the chance to push forward with the Marines to kill the shuttle and then the Reaver. Also note, killing the shuttle is huge, because now that Reaver is sitting there, not fighting. If the Reaver had a shuttle to fly it into this base, Oh, he would have killed those Marines and probably won the game. But the fact that he killed the Shuttle and the Reaver kept the other Reaver out of the fight. He arrives on the scene, gets a good shot off, dodges the tank shot, kills two medics, takes a tank shot, takes a tank shot, tank number two there, finishes up. Triple bunker, all loaded up with range. Shuttle cannot get too close because it takes damage from the Marines in the bunker. This is some really intense, tight, stuff. The choices being made here by both players are insane. Goes in, goes forward, loses Marines to the Scarab, did not get a hit on the Reaver. He tried to get a hit on the Reaver, but couldn't get close enough, could not get close enough. Kills six Dragoons there though, that's big. Gensei might have just lost a little bit too much there, just a little bit too much. Dragoons there, oh no, 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 that's a mistake, that's a mistake. Dragoons are cut off and they get killed. Now he's going to the bottom corner, he's trying to kill tourists to make a path for the shuttle to kill something in the back. Marines coming down, Dragoons are positioning themselves just outside of tank range along this wall on the bottom. Three with their crawling forward, this is crazy control, crazy, crazy stuff. Comes in with a flank, scarabs on the Marines, kills most of the Marines, they do retreat back to the bunker line. As if he's coming down to build more turrets, Reaver there in the sky. But Drew, is he going to try to fight over this bottom side again, or is he going to go over the top side? So second Reaver, going to pick that one up. More Dragoons are on the way. Back at home, Nexus number two, they're on the way, getting double cannon in the back as well. Zealous Speed on the way, got five gateways, getting number six and maybe number seven as well. Third on the bottom, the lost the Reavers, shuttle in the sky, still alive, takes shots Kicks up the Reavers, goes forward, unlocks Reavers outside of turret range, crawls forward, kills the turret, getting on top of the tanks, tank not firing on the Reavers, kills one tank, flies away, survives with the shuttle, 12 HP. It is amazing how Gensei is finding the time and the opportunities to still do damage against Flash. And it is amazing how Flash is controlling his marines and his units and spacing them out to receive as little damage as possible. This guy is the real deal. This guy knows what he's doing. Both players have an amazing talent to find the exact correct thing to do at almost every single part and stage of the game. Gensei is retreating his army back home. Cannons here in the choke getting killed. He's gonna build a gateway there. A stargate, actually. 
we still want to use this proxy robotic space to perhaps build a shuttle drop with Corsair to hit the economy there in the back. But the tanks are pushing forward very, very quick. 55 SCVs, his economy is great. 50 pro clear for Gensei. 133 supply for Flash, 120 for Gensei. He's got triple starport. Seven barracks, level one attack, for his marines. Getting level one attack for the tanks. Flash has the lead here over Gensei, which is something I wasn't expecting to happen yet, but we're already there. He scanned the proxy base. He knew something was there, so he scanned it to see what exactly is there at this proxy base. Finds the proxy base, shuttles running away just in time, marines are on the chase, but they give up the chase. They're just gonna kill the robots instead. And now we're gonna see a backstab attack while the army is away from home. He's gonna go with a gateway attack on the main base. Because if the army is away from home, there shouldn't be too much to defend in the main base. But oh boy, he is wrong. Look at how much units there are here in the base. Flash should have no problems to defend at all. Shuttles coming in, flying over the turrets, unloading. That's not a great spot to unload. Kills a lot of marines there though. Kills a lot of marines. Kills the bunker. Will more marines go down? Yes, a couple of them go. He splits up the marines, kills the rear, and then pulls back towards the bunkers. After he clears out that proxy base on the top. Flash played that one amazingly. That was amazingly played. Getting more starports. Is he gonna go for the attack? Gets a pretty good flank on those units on the middle, but Dark Temples are in the mix. Dark Temples are in the mix, and no scan coming down. Dark Temples are killing everything. Look at all the Marines dying so fast. That's like, oh my god, the entire army is getting wiped out by the Dark Templars. When is the scan? There's the scan coming. A little bit slow. Stims forward, kills the Dark Templars. Two tanks survived, but every single Marine in that army got taken down pretty damn quick. SV there moving across the map. Not sure what is two SV moving across the map. We got mind control on the way there for Gensei. Building new robos here back at home. He's got nine gateways, number 10 on the way. He's getting more forges as well for ground upgrades. Getting level one attack, getting level one attack for air, for air as well. Got a proxy gateway, proxy stargate base here on the side. Two tanks being put there on the high ground to kill those cannons and maybe go for a tank drop on the probes. 54 SCVs, he's not building SCVs anymore. He's not building SCVs anymore, he's just producing and producing and producing. Battle cruisers in production. Battle cruisers are in production. Not what I was expecting, but very welcome. We don't see battle cruisers happen that often and if they do contribute to the fight, I'm going to be very pleased about this replay. Very pleased, very happy. A couple of Dark Temples going to try to buy some time. We have a turret there, so they do not do much. Get taken down. One of them survives. Barely. Tries to chase it down, but it's already too far away. Dark Templars are fast. Look at it run. So quick. It's got Zelda speed pretty much right from the moment it is born. It's Usain bolting all the way away from the enemy. So Fessel in the air for detection, bunkers bunkers being built. Turret and bunkers being built, setting up there in the front. Gensei almost maxed out, he needs a lot more Templars, he's got three of them, might need four or five because we have a lot of Marines. Marines are great against Zealots and Dragoons, but not against Storms. Unloads the shuttle. He's probably gonna put the High Templars in there and then storm on the Marines. He's got his army spread out in his base, ready to go for the attack into the middle. There he goes, he starts the attack. Temple on the high ground, storms once on the tanks, storms twice on the marines, one temple behind the wall, storms on more marines and more tanks. Well, that's about 30 dead units, that's a lot of dead units. So the storms are paying off, another storm coming down. Does he have more storms, or is that everything? That? Appears to be everything. Wait, there's one more. I lied. Oh, never mind. No energy. Battle cruisers have arrived. They have arrived on the scene. 
We have level one, zero, zero still on the Dragoons. We have zero, zero on the battle cruisers, zero, one there on the tanks, zero, two on the Marines. That's beautiful. Five more battle cruisers in production. Notice how he's not building any SCVs anymore. Notice how he's not building any factories. He just wants to end the game as fast as possible with micro, macro, and very aggressive forward momentum. He does not want to lose momentum. All of his actions are going into attacking. None of them into building a base back at home. He's building a base here right in front of Kansas' front door. Good storms. Does he have more of them? Reavers crawling forward. Tanks getting sent to the shadow zone. But more tanks have arrived. We have more battle cruisers arriving. This choke point is just too small for Gensei to break through. And the battle cruisers now at level 1 attack are having an easy time from the skies in taking down Gensei's army. Carriers are on the way. Carriers are on the way. We can level 2 attack, level 1 armor. The AOE units are on level 1 1 1. Level 2 armor, I mean, attack is on the way. Robo's getting killed. We have five battle cruisers in the front, ready to break Gensei's back once and for all and take home the win. Turret there. No, bunker in the front. Five SCVs on the scene. Command center being built. He got the mind control SCV. He did it. While the fight was happening, during all the chaos, he got the mind control SCV. And he's going to try to build a factory and hopefully stop Flash from winning the game with this very strong push, splitting up the battle cruisers, trying to avoid the storms. That push from Gensei did not do much. Four carriers finished up, three more on the way. Three more on the way, setting up his tanks inside of Gensei's base. That is always a terrible sign for a Protoss. Units are spawning, and they're still rally pointed towards the front. He has to change all of his rally points on about 20 gateways. And everything is dying. Like, everything is just dying. Tank rolls up to the front. Not sure why he's going in that deep. But he's getting pretty close to those probes in the back. Carriers coming from the left. Zealots trying to get on top of the tanks. Storms? That's a really good storm. Kills the vessel as well. Kills two battle cruisers as well. But there's still too many tanks alive. And units keep streaming from the main base into Gensei's choke, into Gensei's base. Barracks on the way, supply depot on the way, four SCVs in the back there for Gensei. Gateways dying pretty quick. Carriers in production, he already lost one of them I believe. Four of them alive in the back, Marines at level 2 attack, they're strong, their damage is high. Level 2 attack on the tanks, level 1 attack there on the carriers. Carriers are amazing against interceptors. Look at them, 3 armor to begin with. They don't take a lot of damage from interceptors. More SCVs arriving, holding turrets. He's got 71 SCVs now. He, he built more SCVs. He didn't need them, but he built more of them anyway. He sees the mind control there in the back. Hanks teaching up. He can shoot on the pros. Yeah, he has a big shot. 44 pro kills. Gensei is being sent to the danger zone of death and destruction. Interceptors are trying to fight back, but Marines with level 1 attack kill them so quickly. Battle cruisers kill them even quicker. More probes dying. He's gonna call GG right about now. It's over. It's done. Flash. Not the real Flash, but Flash has killed Gensei in what is actually game number two in this best of series. But I'm not going to recast game number one because <sighs> I don't want to recast that game. So here, Flash takes home a win. And we're just going to give him one win and no wins to Gensei. Beautiful performance. Beautiful performance. This guy is the real deal. This guy has got all the skills you want in a player to get entertaining games. He's got some sass, bowling battle cruisers, he got micro, he got macro, he's got great decision making. 
this guy is so damn good. And this week, we're gonna see more of them play. Because I've got a lot more games between these two. And I'm gonna cast this week for your entertainment. So please look forward to the next games. It should be coming up very soon. Because by now I've been casting for over an hour. And all I've got is this one 19 minute game because I forgot to record the first time. I forgot to record the first time. I'm so damn stupid. Anyway, see you soon. Have a great day.